This local marina in Darwin is usually chock-a-block. 16 prawn trawlers have just left out to sea to reap this year's harvest. It's very quiet. The, um, not many boats here at all. News of a good wet season has those in the know about prawns excited. They'll be bigger, better um, and more of. So the, um, if we don't get the rains, we just don't have the product to catch. The Bureau of Meteorology is forecasting two key climate drivers to clash this year. A negative Indian Ocean dipole, together with another La Nina, could make this year's wet season extra soggy. But we can't guarantee it, but the chances of, it, of seeing wetter than average conditions does include all of the top end. And in fact, at this point in time, the outlook out to October looks like it's pretty much all of the territory. Rain up north could start earlier, with falls of up to 50 millimetres from September. The monsoon could also kick off sooner, with more tropical cyclones on the horizon. It's great uh, looking forward to um, some, some good rainfall because I know a lot of uh, people in parts of the community around the top end you know, kind of missed out from last season, so really hoping we can get some good rainfall this time around. As for this year's dry, it's not over yet, even though it might be feeling that way. What's basically causing this is a lack of a really strong high uh, moving across southern parts of the country. At the moment we've got a really deep low over the southern ocean uh, causing mayhem for southern parts of the continent. Hanging out to ride the next big high before the deluge. Eleni Roussos, ABC News.